So then go ahead and draw one. You need to be able to draw these things, right? So how would you get the F? Yes. Okay. So maybe there's a point like down here at zero, zero. And then if I had another point at zero, six, so that's the line connected zero, zero to zero, six. And you want me to connect those two points? Go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, it did it. Wow. So I've got part of my F. I may want to make it thicker. Maybe how thick can I make it? There we go. Change the thickness. That's a pretty good start to an F, right? So let's go back and get some more of the F. It's another one. Like I could go from zero six to four six. And that's cool. Well, we can't do this for the whole thing, right? I mean, you can. Well, we can't do it for the O, for instance. But like, this doesn't work to do for the whole thing. We got to do some equations. It's a math class. We got to do some formulas. Let's say I wanted to write a W. So is this the graph of a function? Yes, it passes the vertical line test, right? That's all that matters. As long as it passes the vertical line test, we're good. Maybe I threw it past it, but I meant to draw it as a graph of a function. So how many different pieces do you see here? You see four different pieces and each piece is a line, right? Okay. So I'm gonna make a piecewise function that has four different linear pieces. There's a point right here at four or at zero four that could be helpful to me. And there's a point right here at two zero that could be helpful to me. Do you agree? So now what I need is to find the equation of the line that passes through zero, four, and two zero. But we did that. We spent two days where each day we worked lines from two points. So can we find the equation of this piece of the line? Yeah, we know how to do that. You aren't excited enough. <laughs> So we need to find the equation of the line that passes through zero, four, and two, zero. Uh, I don't know what it is, but. Okay, so you claim it is y equals negative two x plus four. Awesome. However, I don't want that whole thing. What do I want to do? Restrict it. I want to restrict it. I don't want the whole line. I want to restrict it. So I want to restrict the domain, not parameter. Parameter are the numbers that we don't know. Like y equals mx plus b, m and b are parameters. I want to restrict the domain between, what do you think, x between 0 and 2. Now we just have three more lines to do like that, and we got a letter. How awesome is that? 